Hey everyone, Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. Well, we are just going to try and start this all over again. Technology is not being my friend today. Um, I am now using my new tablet to do the live because my old tablet wouldn't do it, and we'll show you samples on that. So let's just start all over again. I'll kind of try and keep it brief. Got some fun new things in. Um, one of the things we got in are some Lavinia stamps. We have not carried these before. Um, I generally try not to avoid too much from overseas. It's expensive. It takes a long time to get things in. I have a distributor that carries them. My margins aren't very good on them, so I don't know that I will carry a lot of stock. Um, I am always happy to special order any of them, and I'll just point out that there are no discounts on the Lavinia stamps because of the margins that I'm getting. I do have a few from their newest release, and just show you those here really quickly. Um, there were a lot of dragons in this release. I know some of you love it and some of you that's not really your thing we have this little dragon here and he comes in two different sizes here we have a couple of other dragons and they also come in a mini set they're smaller and they're going the other direction we also have this beautiful lady right here that you can see sorry I'm not used to using my tablet it looks a little bit different when I what I'm seeing and this is a fun new one it's a bat colony and this is a little bit older one I do have one extra as of these it is um, a castle all right got in some new stencils I am really liking these stencils a lot they're from Marianne designs and this first one is called wood slice that one is really fun. This one is cobblestones. This one is probably my favorite one. It is the leaf grain. You can see it's like part of a um, skeleton leaf. And the last one is a really fun one that is called foam. We also have a stamp from them that is a skeleton leaf stamp. It is a clear stamp. Um, some other fun things we have some dies this one is a really cute little mushroom die you can see you get three little mushrooms have some nice detail on them and I think that's just kind of supposed to be the ground there you can see that green kind of like little grassy or mossy area we do have two new cross stitch um, dies in the first one is a heart you actually get two dies. You get the part that does the um, holes for cross stitching, and then you also get the outer frame die if you want to cut the whole thing out. And there is also a Christmas tree that works the same way. Again, the center part and then a frame if you want to cut it out. Um, if you go to the manufacturer's website, they actually have a section where they have free downloads where you can download patterns that actually fit in these dies few more things we have a really pretty die from frantic stamper it is a nativity die and this one here from creative expressions this is like the fairy edger dies that we had in before but this one is a snowman and I will show you some samples of that the last thing to show you is we got in a new opal polish sorry let me get it figure out here I have quite figured this out on my tablet um, these are some new pearl opal polishes and so the base is a pearl and this one is copper and I'm not sure if you can see a little bit there kind of that copper sheen in there let me show you um, a sample so like all of the opal polishes when you do this on white you mostly see the base color which is mostly a pearl color but as you tilt it in the light and the light catches it it has kind of a coppery sheen to it and when you do it on black the mica powder color is what shows up and so in this case you primarily get that copper color it's kind of I almost call it a rose gold kind of a light copper color so that is really pretty so let me show you um, some samples here um, all right so here is that snowman edger you can see how cute that is these silhouette dies are really easy to use um, but one thing I want to show you, let me see a sample here. Um, you can go in and you can do some paper piecing if you want for certain areas of that snowman. So you can see here how they've done some paper piecing in um, with his hat and his scarf and his vest. So lots of fun things to do with those. 
Here is a beautiful example of that nativity panel. That looks like maybe um, a gold leafed background that they've created and just done it in black. Here on this sample, whoops, sorry, got my finger in front of the thing there. You can see there are those little mushrooms. You just add a little ink and those really are really nice. There is a sample with the Christmas tree cross stitch and there is one with the heart cross stitch. So that is what we got in today. I do have another box. I'm not sure I'm going to get to it. It's an order from Expression Impression Obsession, but we've got a lot of fun things in today. I hope that you will stop by soon and see us. Have a great weekend, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.